If you're anything like me, you probably believe that having a gym within a hotel slash resort area was kind of dumb. And I believed that for a long time until I started working out myself and now I get it. Yes, you need that because you're going to have a pump right before going to the beach or the pool. And you need that. Why? Because you need to show off your body. You've been working out for so long. You've been lifting weights for years. For then not to show off your body a little bit, you know, where you can actually in the pool, not in the locker room like all the older people, right? No, we don't want to do that there. We want to do it outside in the world. Yeah, why? Because we want to fill up our egos. That's it. Simple as that. There's no sugar coating on this. This is exactly the reason why. We need to fill up our egos by showing off our gains. Yes, this gains. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, I've been gone for, I don't know, a month right now. And that's because I was on a trip. I was in Dubai. Yeah, of all places. I was there for a uh, wedding and I actually I've never been there before. It was an amazing experience and of course I did a few things that I'm going to go over now and I'm going to tell you so you have an idea on what to do whenever you are on vacation now this summer. First of all, there are two kinds of people. The people that take deloads whenever they're on vacation and the people that actually do continue their training uh, to the point that they do the whole workout routine. I'm more like in the middle. I did a little bit of upper body and full body a few of the days. And that's because I needed the pump after eating the amazing food that I was eating. It was amazing. I had so much fun eating different types of food and everything there is halal. Yes, halal. I had no idea. And I learned that there and it was pretty, pretty chill. Um, I didn't know that they have different types of turkey. That was interesting to me. I, I didn't, I didn't try that. I think it was veil, uh, veil turkey and whatnot. Uh, that was good. But the first thing that you have to keep in mind, if you are on vacation, you got to be considerate of others. If you are with your family members, uh, please let them know that you're going to be somewhere, uh, that they are not going to be able to see you for a few minutes, if not hours, hopefully not more than half an hour, because you don't need more than that for a pump. We all know that you just need a little bit, just a little bit, a little bit of a pump. Now, keep in mind, if you're going to another country, a lot of the weights will be in kilograms. If you are watching this in the United States, kilograms is something you got to be familiar with if you're going to somewhere else in the world. Yes, only here in the United States we have pounds as far as like weight lifting goes. Um, I grabbed the 30s uh, when I was trying to do some dumbbell ladder races and I realized I was not, not there because they don't tell you they're KG. You, you got to know that. I uh, did some back workout there. Uh, Pull-ups will be your best friend if you're going to be going to the beach, um, do some pull-ups before hitting the beach because you're going to feel the pump. You're going to feel great. You're going to feel amazing. Uh, I also did some uh, chest supporter rows. Those are very, very good whenever you are trying to get your width, you know, show your so, show your grit, show your gains when you're out there. And that's the whole point, guys. Just make sure to show your gains as much as you can. Don't start like a whole new program when you are out there. Just do everything you've been doing, just a little bit more concentrated, more intense, quicker reps, nothing crazy, one to two minute rest times, and you'll be golden. Of course, you have to take advantage of the all-you-can-eat buffet. If you have that, believe me, that is worth it. If you have that option, pay for it, get it. All-you-can-eat buffet is the way to go when you are abroad because you can try everything. You know, you can eat a little bit of everything and at the end of the day, you're on vacation. So, you know, treat yourself a little bit. So I did a little bit of the eating. I also visited the, I didn't go inside of it, but I went to the uh, tallest building in the world and I mocked it. Yes, I did that. That was me. Uh, that was something that I was very proud of. But here's the thing, guys. If you are on vacation, keep in mind that a uh, few days, right, you're going to be out of the gym. That's okay. You, you don't have to work out when you are out on vacation. Now, if you're going to keep your program and if you want to keep your goals, just make sure to do them properly and be considerate of others because you're not there by yourself. You're with other family members, friends and whatnot. And of course, they want to enjoy some of the little time with you. Yes. Yes. I did not stay more than half an hour. Uh, Yes, if you were there, don't comment anything on my comment section. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. We're almost at 300 subscribers. I appreciate all your support, guys. 
Also, let me know down in the comments if you work out whenever you are on vacation or if you are a person that relaxes and, you know, don't do anything. Just sip piña coladas whenever you are by the beach, enjoying the breeze and everything, which I also did. I just also worked out because I wanted to, again, show my palm, like get the palm to show my body. Like any egocentrical lifter that is out there, of course. That's all. We're, we're all the same. We're all living the same life. That's all I have for today. Stay natural. See ya.